Hey, are you interested in learning about yoga, breath work, meditation, and more? Local healing arts teacher Laura Dunworth is joining us today to talk about her work and to tell us more about her recently launched app. She's very proud of it. We're proud of her. Laura, good morning. Good morning, Rosie. It's so nice to be here. We just were talking off camera about how you got into this, but um, unfortunately you say a lot of people end up kind of on these journeys because of something negative that happened to them. Exactly. I, I feel that we're all on a healing journey, mm -hmm. an awakening journey, a wellness journey, and sometimes life throws something at us like an illness or an injury, maybe it's a divorce or the loss of a loved one. And for me, it was 27 years ago, actually coming up on Monday, um, I lost my younger brother. Oh. And it was just such an interesting time because not only was my heart feeling it, the grief, all of that, but I started noticing my body was really having a hard time. I was feeling very anxious all the time. I was having a hard time sleeping. Um, my digestion got kind of messed up. It was like, okay, wow, what is going on here? Um, our minds, our hearts, our bodies are all connected. And so I kind of launched myself on this healing journey. It's like, what can I do to help with these emotions and these feelings. How can I embody them, release them, um, move past them, learn from them, and, and just all of these things. So I became a healing arts practitioner. So for the last 25 years, I have been practicing and teaching yoga, meditation, breath work, energy healing, and sound healing. And I have found that all these modalities are so incredibly helpful, calming the nervous system, helping with balance and presence and mindfulness. So I have taken all of these modalities and I have created a new app um, to help people live more consciously, to help people learn how to breathe again and to be more present in their lives with their loved ones and to really savor life, you know, to really um, acknowledge those feelings and emotions, but to be able to release them from your nervous system because our body holds on to a lot of stuff. Absolutely, and it can come out in really weird ways. Yes. You might notice some really odd things happening to your body, and if you're like, you know, A plus B does not equal C, like what are we doing? It might actually be that you're stressed to a level that your body's showing it oddly. Exactly, and it doesn't even need to be an injury or illness or loss of a loved one. Everyday life mm -hmm. really brings up a lot of stress and emotions, and if we don't teach ourselves this, these tools, they tend to kind of escalate. They yeah. kind of tend to build up in our bodies. And so this app is just filled with all kinds of different modalities and techniques. I have a 21 day breath work challenge. I have meditations that are infused with energy healing and different frequencies that help your brainwave state to change. Um, and I'm also really excited because we have a section for kids. Yes, let's talk about how the needs of kids are different because you actually have a lot of background in this too. I you used do, to be a I teacher. Do. I used to teach elementary school in Austin ISD years ago and, um, and I'm a proud mother of my two grown sons and so I've been able to see how different life is for these kids than it was for us. You know, we didn't have all the distractions, the social media, the selfies, um, just all of the, all the things that we're constantly feeding ourselves and I'm not just talking about food. We mm -hmm. do talk about food on the app too because our food is different now. And so mm -hmm. I have recipes and health tips on the app as well as you know, what we're feeding ourselves physically, but what, am our, what are we feeding ourselves emotionally and mentally and spiritually? You know, We're taking in all of these things and let's just be mindful of what we're consuming. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do wanna ask, I mean, I feel like you've touched on it a bit, but when we talk about I'm gonna tell you guys flat out, I, I mean, I've posted on social media recently about my own mental health journey. I flat out don't like yoga, but <laughs> I'm doing it every <laughs> single morning. I'm doing it every single evening because what I'm seeing it as, as is actually as a, a breathing technique, a, a breath practice. Yes. And I can tell I am calmer because I am using it for that reason. How can these things help? Absolutely, yoga in particular is one of my favorite modalities because it truly is a moving breathwork meditation. Mm -hmm. And you're using your body physically to connect and it really brings you into the present. You're not in the past and you're not worried about the future. And it is such a presencing mindfulness technique. And 
um, I love it. I, I really try to practice every day. Okay, well, I'm trying to get there with you, sister. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm working on it, I promise. You did also want to talk about breathing, breathing techniques. There are a lot of really good ones out there. Um, box breathing, for example, is something we talked about, but maybe if someone's not ready to be holding and staying and all of that, what's an easy way to remember how to properly breathe? Exactly. So some of these breathing techniques, like you said, they might bring up feelings of anxiety. And oftentimes that bringing up is actually a healing modality in itself because you're bringing it up to clear it. Yep. But let's just talk about ways to, the way to properly breathe because so many times during our days we're not paying attention to our breathing. Our breathing may be very shallow or very rushed and that really contributes to that fight or flight mm -hmm. nervous system response. And when it's happening so automatically in the background and you're not paying attention to all of your systems kind of lighting up, I mean, you just don't know to give it thought. Exactly, you know? exactly. So let's put one hand on our chest, okay. one hand on our belly. Mm -hmm. And if you like, you can close your eyes, you don't need to. But breathing in and out of your nose and see if you can notice your belly inflating first. I might fall asleep. I think yes, I know, right? <laughs> and you can open your eyes if you like, but just continue focusing on that belly first and then the chest, breathing in and out of your nose. And so what this does is it uses your entire diaphragm and just this act of breathing causes a vibration which calms your vagus nerve. So you get into that, that resting stage and also breathing in and out of your nose does several things. It warms the air it purifies the air and it actually helps to create nitric oxide in your body which is a naturally occurring healing molecule that is an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory and helps to boost your immune system. I didn't know any knew, of these things. Right? Yeah, Who okay, knew? we only have about 20 or 30 seconds left. Okay. I wanna make sure I ask about the two studios that you practice yes. at in town because yes. you do have offerings I here. I do have offerings here. So I teach at two amazing locally owned studios. Suka is one of the studios. There's a location in Terrytown, South Lamar, and next week opening one on the east side on MLK. Super excited. And I also teach at Yoga Vita in Westlake. And I teach a slow flow, uh, vinyasa flow class. It's very mindful, very breath oriente oriented. And I teach um, a meditation sound bath class a couple times a week. And that is crystal bowls, gongs, really relaxing and such a beautiful practice. Sounds so interesting, so much to learn. Okay, we really appreciate your time this morning, Laura. Thank, Thank you, you for so having much. me. You can download Laura's new app and explore all of her offerings. Head to the App Store and find Vitality Life Online, a conscious living guide. You can also check out her website, lauradunworth.com to learn more.